Hi. I'm Dave Soriano. I'm a chemistry professor with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in western Pennsylvania, USA. This short video will outline some of the work I'm doing in the field of chemical ecology. This will feature an experimental design that I'm uh, developing and utilizing in my research and uh, it uses the Raspberry Pi PC and uh, the insect, uh, the animal that I'm working with is the American cockroach insect. I'm developing and testing chemical attractants and in some cases chemical repellents. So let's show you some of the work that I'm doing here. Um, my colleague is Robert Ellison. He's actually a former student and he is in the uh, CTM department of our campus. Um, that's the uh, computer telecommunications and marketing, telemarketing. Uh, Bob is an IT man. And uh, we're both here, as I said, at the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus, uh, northwestern Pennsylvania, about 80 miles south of Buffalo, New York. And uh, here's some contact information. You have my phone number and email address if you have any questions about what you see in this film. And... Uh, the uh, the work right now is, as I mentioned, uh, devoted to the American cockroach. Um, later this summer, I'll introduce the Madagascar hissing hissing cockroach, and I'm interested in uh, uh, the chemicals of communication, uh, how uh, insects communicate, uh, particularly chemical attractants, and uh, I'm using the inexpensive Raspberry Pi PC to be able to present my work via live uh, web stream using a camcorder 24-7 and um, the streaming uh, company that I'm using is bamboozer.com so I relay what I'm doing here in the lab via webcam to their server and uh, you can investigate uh, the research I'm doing 24-7 Excuse me one second. <clears throat> Get a little bit of coffee here. The American cockroach is a nocturnal in insect. So I'm able to set up uh, some of the chemicals that I'm screening before I head home. And uh, sometimes uh, 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Eastern Time. I will uh, introduce the chemicals and I can then go home and monitor the activity via the webcam. And uh, many, many times the insects become quite active about 11.30 or 12 o'clock at night. So it's very convenient for me and also for other researchers worldwide or educators to be able to see our setup and the type of experiments we're actually conducting uh, online. Now here's a Raspberry Pi PC unit. I'm using their version 2. It's a nonprofit organization in the United Kingdom and you can see the motherboard within a uh, plastic red case. If you need to keep costs down for this type of work I'm doing, you don't even need a case. You could lay the board uh, just on a piece of uh, cardboard or paper. Um, but the casing, I think, was about $6. I'll give you information on where I'm getting this stuff from. But um, that's the typical credit card size area, Raspberry Pi PC. I'm using the uh, version 2, which is uh, uh, in the U.S., $35 U.S. plus postage. And uh, I'll give you information on the vendor that I am using. Uh, my colleague Bob is actually has clustered 32 of them. They're doing clustering work um, and uh, that's going very well but that's another project that I'm not involved in. Here's the webcam that we're using. Bob was able to screen various webcams and of course the Raspberry Pi uses an operating system which is Linux based and uh, the Raspbian Raspberry Pi uses that 
and uh, you can't use just any webcam but uh, Bob screened a number of them and this is a very very efficient relatively inexpensive model uh, it's about fifteen dollars retail in the United States and it works very well and uh, you can actually uh, follow our work uh, that's going on and um, w this uh, webcam holds up pretty good um, here's the experimental design and what we have here is uh, in the beginning you can you need a mouse and a keyboard and a monitor to get interfaced with bamboozer and after you're up and running you don't, you don't even need the mouse or keyboard or monitor um, once you're set up and running you could go to any any PC that's networked and you'll be able to um, uh, see how the visualization looks with the webcam but uh, the Raspberry Pi allows you two external USB ports so you use one for the mouse one for the keyboard and uh, you have your monitor hooked up you can use a flat screen TV uh, I'll talk more about how we did this in a minute and uh, what we have here uh, also uh, down the road I have a small automobile 12 volt DC monitor just to be able to see what's going on uh, if I were to crash or shut down if I'm starting up again um, purposes of saving space you can get this whole thing set up in a very small area um, and once you have do live streaming, streaming you, you don't even need the monitor, keyboard, or uh, mouse. This is the actual chamber where I do some of the chemical research. Um, vendors. For the monitor, it's about $15 US plus postage. It can be obtained from Newegg.com. Here's a link right to the product. Uh, delivery to us. Uh, was about four days here in the United States. It's a very, very good company. And I recommend that you go to alliedelectronics.com and here's their link. And here you'll find that they sell the Raspberry. They're authorized sellers, vendors in the United States. Not only can you get the board, but you can get the power supply, which is about five or six dollars. You can pick up um, a casing. A uh, whole bunch of uh, peripheral hardware, if you're interested. Uh, so I've had good results with these vendors. Now, uh, when you're first getting started up, you need a USB mouse, a USB interface keyboard. I'm using an HDMI monitor, so I'm able to uh, interface directly from the Raspberry Pi uh, to that uh, monitor. You can, as I said, you can use a flat screen TV if you wish for startup. You'll need a Raspberry Pi uh, board and a power supply. And you'll also need uh, for memory an SDHC. Eight, I'm using 8 gig. I think you can get by with 4 gig, but $12 at the local Walmart. Um, I'm using a Sony. And uh, if you go to Raspberry Pi's uh, you type in Raspberry Pi with your browser, Google, Explore. You'll uh, be able to find out very easily how to uh, load the operating system on the memory card. Uh, it's not difficult at all. You can even buy the cards which have uh, the operating system already loaded if you so wish. That's not a problem at all. Uh, but it's Linux-based Raspbian. And uh, the work that I'm doing the chemistry of it. Uh, I'm screening volatile al alcohols, esters, acids, and uh, because of their volatile, if they are good attractants, the power uh, will uh, of attraction will evaporate, uh, dissipate in a very short period of time because of the volatility. So uh, once I know which chemical agents are um, worth developing, I will then saturate it and activate a carbon pellet with such a compound and then coat it with a citric acid copolymer. We're also developing them here uh, cross-linked with glycerin or copolymerized with polypropylene glycol, biodegradable polymers. I also have a colleague in microbiology who is uh, testing uh, degradation, biodegradation with various uh, microbes. 
and thus uh, a suitable cold polymer can slowly break down and um, serve as a time release agent uh, to enhance the volatility but uh, to uh, allow it to dissipate over days hopefully not just hours we're also looking at polylactic acids I have some preliminary information that the uh, insect this insect species is attracted to lactic acid and um, the oxidized metabolite pyruvic acid both of them products of a glycolysis in the insect and uh, we're focusing on varying the molecular weight of the polylactic acid and uh, that of course will have an effect on the volatility the vapor pressure low to high molecular weight polylactic acid as well you can follow our work uh, via webcam which I'll give you information in a minute now um, we're using bamboo uh, bamboozer.com we ro strongly recommend this and you can find my two sites dave.soriano.56 the other is d.s.soriano you'll see our two webcam experimental setups and uh, you can watch our work as it's going on and make up your own mind which chemicals you think are attractants or not um, if I go uh, back uh, well first we'll show you this This is very important if you elect to use the newegg.com webcam that we're using that's fifteen dollars here uh, Bob has put together some instructions I recommend that you print this out and he will show you step by step how to interface the Raspberry Pi with the webcam but in particular here the webcam to the bamboozer.com live stream you uh, can't just use any type of webcam you have to make sure you have one that is Linux based the Raspberry Pi company will be introducing their own webcam uh, web camera next month I think it'll be about $25 um, you might consider that as well when it comes out but there'll probably be a, a little bit of a waiting time there um, and these are additional parts uh, step by step of how to get up and running with the webcam and uh, let's take you back now if we may Um, let's show you a video on the experimental setup. Uh, here's the monitor we're using. There's the cam. This is an experimental uh, device. Right now there are four uh, cockroach insects in it. And I've drilled holes in the bottom of it, you see. And there's a little tray underneath. And I can open that tray up and put the chemicals in. It's right down here at the bottom and I can slide in the chemicals. See where I drilled the holes? So that way the vapor of the chemical will rise and I will be able to monitor it and see if the insects are drawn to that center part. And if it's a good attractant uh, they should be focused there. I have four in there right now. They were introduced earlier this morning. Water, a little bit of water from a uh, test tube, petri dish, and a couple of pellets of dog food so they're not uh, starving here's the Raspberry Pi set up to the monitor and you need the mouse and the keyboard just to get to bamboozer.com and then you're in business saving a lot of space this way so we have it on a portable cart we have our Ethernet there where we're hooked up here's another uh, computer I have in the lab that I use for educational purposes and you can see that I'm actually on here seeing on on this uh, at this station seeing what's going on with that webcam so you see if you have access to a computer elsewhere in another part of your department or home you'll uh, be able to make sure the picture is okay and you don't have to tie up an entire station you might be living in a city somewhere and you simply are training a webcam outside your window on the street and the traffic and that way you can set that up and from time to time you can just check on another computer uh, and make sure uh, that uh, everything's okay so you're gonna lay out about thirty five dollars for the Raspberry Pi thirty five there about twelve dollars for an SD card for memory 
and uh, the webcam for 15 bucks. So you're talking 60 dollars $65 to be able to have a webcam set up that doesn't take up a lot of space. So we'll f go ahead forward now, if we may. And uh, there where you can see what we're going on. I didn't show you my other webcam, but that's uh, with a larger terrarium where I hold a larger community of the insects. And uh, I still carry out some experiments there as well. There are your instructions. If you have any problems reading that, um, you'll have my contact information here. Soriano at pit.edu. And now I'm going to get back to work, but thank you very much for watching. And uh, it's up to you to use your creativity and imagination to figure out how to use such a webcam. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye now.